Hey guys, Andy here, Turtle Up Trailers, with another walk around here of a beacon. We just finished this one up here, um, 2020. Uh, this is our first one to go off the line, 2020. This one is Leo, Lime Green Leo. So, very good looking rig. This one's going to uh, Clinton, Illinois. Leaving tonight, actually. So let's start up front here. We've got a better built tongue box that we offer. That stores your battery. Um, you know, it's got some hauling. This has got the off-road kit, so it's got a pinnel ring for when you're off-roading. That's what we uh, sell for our off-road hitch. Uh, we offer, we sell it with the ball attachment when you're uh, just going down a road, and then you can swap over a pinnel if you're gonna be doing any any obstacles or terrain that uh, is a little rougher. Um, so we've got the battery in there, just a regular deep cycle 12 volt on this one, uh, on off switch. They've got the Climate Right air conditioner heater. So we've got our uh, hatch porch on, uh, ports on the front, moon gazer window. We've got a roof rack from Sport Rack with our uh, Turtle Up Trailer exclusive brackets. Uh, that's a really great option. Put your kayaks up there. You can also opt to do like a rooftop tent in the future or a road shower on the side. Okay, we got four support jacks. On all four corners, we have a support jack. A lot of places just do two support jacks in the back and a tongue jack, but we found as you kind of roll around inside the interior uh, when you sleep, it likes to rock a little bit on you, so we want to make sure that you're good and sturdy. I don't like it rocking, so I've, I put four on mine, and, and that's how we started doing all of them. Uh, again, off-road kit, so it got the uh, off-road fenders that are stand-on uh, 31 by 10.5 inch tires with steel off-road wheels uh, MT tires so you can really get into some some stuff out there uh, 30 amp shore power hookup for your 110 and city water connection because they do have a water tank with a sink in here we did a porthole window because they wanted one this is our first porthole window we do we've done and I really like how it turned out Let's take a peek inside. Well, first, let's talk, we've got the porch lights on each side too. Now we offer these with single door on the side entry. So with a single door, you only get one porch light. When you buy the, door, the second door, that porch light comes installed on the other side as well. So we'll kick the lights on here. Again, the switches are right inside the door. You've got a reading light up front that goes blue or you got your reading light on. There's the interior sides of the AC ports and you can actually rotate these to whichever way you want to uh, direct the air. And then there's your moon gazer from the inside. Really, really good looking interior in this, all light gray. That's the uh, bed in the couch form. If you wanna flip it out, you just flip this side up and pull the whole bed and fold it over. And it lays out really, really comfortable. Um, over on the other side, again, second side door. They opted to keep the original uh, um, ceiling fans, so the fantastic fans up top. These are three speed and reversible with this switch right here. So you can kick it in where it's pulling air in or pushing air out. In floor storage, it's still got the plastic on it. Uh, we didn't want to get it all scratched up for the customer. I'll step inside here. They did no stowaway table on this one. Um, a lot of places, you know, a lot of people may not want that. That's just uh, takes up a little more room, but it is a really good option. And what's cool about this is we leave all the, the pieces there that they need. All they need to buy when they do the stowaway table is our kit that actually comes with the recessed mount for the in the post that goes inside that mount. And then your again, your, your in-floor storage covers are the, the tabletop. So that's really cool. So in the back here, let me get these set up. We did slider doors. So these are really, really nice. Um, this one has a little bit of a lock on it, so that way it stays put where when you're going down the road. One giant open shelf though, and they all slide. And they slide in these little grooves in here, and that's what gets us our slider door. They have a little bit of a bracket on the back. And then they've got their power, um, 110. USB charging and the cigarette charging port. I'm sure there's another name for these, but I'm not sure what it is. So cigarette charging port is what it's gonna be. There's your porthole window. Of course, carbon monoxide detector and 
uh, fire alarm in here and we always standard is a fire extinguisher on the inside we want, want our owners to be safe in the event something happens um, but hopefully nothing ever will never had any issues hope to never have any so um, and then the floor I didn't cover the floor last time we standard is this foam backed vinyl flooring it looks like wood plank but it's foam backed vinyl um, it's really good for sound deadening and it's easy to clean. Uh, you can see I got a little mud here. I'm gonna clean that up before they come pick it up. But um, you know, it just wipes right up. You get a little sparkle uh, spray on there or some Windex and wipe it up and you're good to go. Uh, the upgrade is uh, carpet tiles. So we do a really nice um, sticky back, adhesive back carpet tile. And we do that in two different colors. And if you want to upgrade to that, it, it, it just adds even more sound deadening, a little bit of an R value. But what's cool about it is the mattress doesn't slide around anymore once you do that. So this one, you know, it's not bad when you're sitting on it, but as you go down the road, sometimes the mattress will kind of move around a little bit, but the carpet will actually hold it. It's got a little more friction. It'll hold it there to where you can't, uh, it, it won't slide around on you. So just another idea. Plus when you get it stained, you don't have to replace the whole floor. You just pull up a tile or two, replace those and you're back on the road. So let's close this door here and we'll go check out the back, back side. So on the back, we've got our bumper just like we always do. They did go with another uh, receiver on the back so they can put their bike rack or whatever they want to put out here. Uh, we'll open up the hatch with our really nice latches that we use. And we'll kick the lights on for you. All right, so we've got the sink for the water storage with your on on valve for the pump. And I think we've got some water in there. Oh yeah, we got some water. So we get, you can brush your teeth, wash your hands, that sort of thing. Turn the pump off. Uh, all three lights, we like to do a courtesy light here just because when you're sitting by a campfire, you don't have to have all these lights on because they are really, really bright in the dark. So we want to make sure that that's an option there to just have a, a little bit of lighting or you can just keep your backsplash light on and shut the overhead lights off. Or you can have them all on and really brighten up the place. Uh, so we've got two drawers in the center. These are a little narrower than we normally do just because they went with a 55 quart yep that's it 55 quart cooler and uh, we'll get to that in a second i'll pull it out but i gotta set the camera down when we do that again we do barrister style bookcase doors on the upper cabinets so you really get clean open cabin open countertop space when you're working you can grab stuff in here and you're not disrupting the entire countertop so you don't have to clear things away um this this idea with the barrister style came from a uh, I think it was a customer or, or somebody who's a prospective customer was like, you know, instead of doing swing doors, you could do these barrister style ones, or he, he called them lift up and slide in doors. And, and uh, we found the barrister hardware, and uh, that's what we did. And for now, it's a standard option on there. Back over to the power panel. Um, I love these little switches. It's got plastic on it because it's uh, still new, so they'll pull that off there at some point. But shows that we've got 30% battery. I don't know if you can see that or not. Click this little white button and it says we've got 11.2 volts, which means our battery is getting low. And then you can also turn that off so you don't have to see that green light. Then we've got our USB out here with charging port, cigarette charging port up top, the second 110 outlet, and your converter box. All your 12 volt fuses are here, all your 110 breakers are here. This is your water valve to switch between filling your tank through the city port and just running off city water when you're hooked up at the campground to that port there let me set the camera down and we will uh do the cooler there we go. lift up on the blue latches here and they unlock and come out So this is a 55 quart lifetime. I've never seen one of these boxes, but man, do I really like them. Uh, it's, it's, a, it, it's really well made uh, and it fits in here perfectly. Uh, plus made in the USA, you can't beat that. Way to go, lifetime. So that locks in there. 
it locks out so you can't push it back in and it's also rated for 500 pounds on those drawer slides they got a five pound propane tank on the side uh, they did not get the plumbed lines but i think they're just going to use their little cook stove out here on a side table or or maybe up on the countertop one of the two. Oh, another side note they also went with a standard countertop you guys haven't seen one of these yet um hdpe so the same material that the cabinets are made of that's what our standard countertop is made of so it's basically cutting board material um it's really sanitary it's a good product the stainless is a little more durable a little flashier but still a great countertop we put a nice aluminum extrusion front on it just like the old 50s rails on the front of uh diner uh tables and uh or diner bar tops so it really finishes it off nice side mount spare tire to match the full size spare tires and the creme de la creme our newest bracket here it's a little dirty because of salt but we call these the wolf bracket that's so you can tie tie up your dog right there to the to the frame of the trailer when you're out there so you don't no longer twisting dog tie outs in that's our wolf bracket we've got one on each side i think they got a couple big dogs so very cool well guys thanks for watching remember to hit the subscribe button uh like us on facebook check us out on www.turtleuptrailers.com or message me on Instagram. Uh, we try to put more videos out as we keep going here. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying them. So thanks a lot for watching.